Hey, what's up coach? In this video, I'm gonna share my top three obvious signs that you will be really successful in this industry. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a collection of what I've personally done. Um, I ran a soccer training business for over 13 years, okay? 13 years is a super long time. Our company did really, really well, hired a bunch of coaches, um, and now at this point, um, we've worked with over 1,500 coaches um, through one-on-one -on -one consulting, our accelerator program, and other various programs we've offered to sports trainers around the world. Um, and there's a bunch of coaches that watch our YouTube channel here. So I'm gonna take a collection of what worked for me and what I see from coaches that I directly deal with on a day-to-day -day basis that are investing into our program. And hopefully this video will help you because if you have any deficiencies with what I'm about to talk about, uh, these are things that you can learn and things that you can improve on. Uh, and I kind of boiled this down to the three things. So you'll see me look off to the side this way because I have my, my computer right here. So the first one, I think this is my favorite one. It is the never arrive mindset. And the way I'm gonna break this down is really simple. Whoa, if you're watching this video coach, I know you are in the middle of watching one of my YouTube videos. And what I wanna do here is I wanna invite you to our Youth Sports Entrepreneur Network. This is a free group that I just created. This is specific for sports trainers that wanna grow their local training business. I give you a free course. You have a free community to network with hundreds of trainers across the world that are in this niche, in this industry, and it's free. So all you have to do is go right below this video, um, click through there, join our group. It's free right now, and enjoy the rest of the video. Like someone who never arrives, they realize that, okay, I'm always gonna seek out coaching. I'm always gonna ask questions. I'm always gonna invest into learning new skills, I'm always striving to reach the next level. And they, in their personal life, this type of person hangs around the right group of people. And I know it's really cliche, like hang around five people and, and you, you become the average of the five, right? Um, it's very true. And who you hang out with is going to have a direct correlation to how successful your business is. That is just how it's set up. Um, and so the never right mindset that is the type of person that knows that there's multiple layers and levels to business and they're not going to just be content. Okay. Because the second you get really content with your business, you, your business gets stale and it stays the same. And when that happens, you never grow it. And I'm a big believer that like with this type of business, like training business, you, you really have to put yourself in a position where you're around other people that are doing better than you. So you can actually see what's possible. All right. So like specifically, like I help coaches right now that are making between like $0 per month, uh, up to, uh, the biggest trainer that we're working with right now is doing like right around $80,000 per month. Okay. And we work with people all in between. So we help people that are just starting, they haven't made a dollar yet, um, all the way up to 80K a month, which is like right around a million dollars per year. And we work with people all in between. And the cool thing is like, let's say you're someone who's just starting. If you're around someone that maybe started a month ago and they've just got their first couple of clients, that's gonna inspire you a lot because you're like, okay, this person just started too, like they're kind of the same boat as me. Um, and so like being around people like that, is going to change the game for you, okay? Um, and then if you're someone who's like, you're like right on the edge of like, you're wanting to do this full time, but you're kind of scared. You don't really know how to get there. Um, and you feel like you have to take a leap of faith. Well, being around people that are doing twice as good as you, it's gonna make you realize, well, man, like it's possible. Like I can do this. Like what are they doing different than me? Um, and then like, if you're already doing really well, like you need to be around people who are doing better than you. Um, and that's the type of attitude and type of mindset you have to have if you're someone who feels like you never write. Um, and like investing into skills, investing in yourself is so important. Like I'm gonna give you a personal example. So uh, two weeks ago, I was like, man, like I really want to learn Facebook ads. Like I need hands-on help. Like the way my brain works is like, I like it when someone sits down with me and shares their screen and they're like, okay, click this, click this. So I like scoured the internet and I found someone 
and I pay this guy $500 an hour to help me, right? Most people would never invest $500 for one hour of their time into someone. Um, but like I practice what I preach here. So it's like, <laughs> I always talk about investing yourself. Like I do that personally. And I, I did that because I want to learn a skill faster from someone who's already done it millions of times before me. Okay. So it's like that with you. It's like, if you are around a group of people that are doing really well in this industry and like that's what we have in our accelerator program we have over 200 coaches right now that are doing this um, as a career like so if that's something you're interested go down below you can look at our program you we have a demo video there you can check it out okay the second thing that oh man this one's so big but the second key indicator that i see that is going to define if you're really successful in this business it's how good of a communicator are you okay and i can tell you from just personal experience if you met me in 2009 i was a terrible communicator terrible like i have zero ego I, i'm telling you right now i was horrible at communication uh, when i would talk to parents over the phone i would i'm not kidding i would stutter i would stutter through my pricing um, i was very uncomfortable like even just looking people in the eye like, so I had a lot of internal things I had to, to deal with um, to get outside my comfort zone and become good at, at communication. I remember very vividly, um, I was having lunch with my granddad and he told me, he was like, look, if you really want to excel in your business, like, you have to get better at talking, period. And he, he gave me a bunch of recommendations, a, bu a bunch of books to read. Um, and at the end of the day, the only way I could get better is if I just started talking more, started communicating more, started going out to the fields more, market myself, like not be afraid to talk to people when I had the opportunity. And fast forward to now, like this is something I'm still wanting to develop and get better at. But if you look at my track record personally, like if you go to YouTube, we, I have literally published almost 2000 videos now since 2014 on, on multiple channels okay so like that plaque right behind me that's for a completely different channel that i have uh, over 300 videos there on this channel have like thousands of videos okay thousands um, and so what i'm trying to tell you is if you're a really good communicator it's way easier to market yourself it's way easier to um, work with your clients, like in your actual sessions, the communication in between sessions, um, and, and the marketplace in your area is going to look at you as the market leader because you're a really good communicator. And that, that comes through on your email marketing, that comes through in your videos, that comes through on a phone call, that comes through in your first time ever meeting someone, um, that first impression. So communication is so important. And I will tell you, most coaches in this industry, they are bad communicators. The way they deal with everything is just on text messages. Um, and most people just hide behind their computer. So if you kind of step up and be, become a better communicator, it's going to completely change your business. And what I will tell you, every single coach that I know that's making north of $100,000 per year in this business right now, they're all good communicators. Every single one of them, all right? The last one is also really important. And this ties into being a good communicator. Uh, and this is what it is. It's like, you need to have a really simple sales process. Something that is easy for the prospect when you talk to them, okay? So like, I'm gonna give you an example, all right? If you show up to a phone call or a Zoom call with a prospect who's interested, like they raise their hand, they're like, hey, can you tell us more about your program? Like, we, we need your help. If you show up to that call and you just have a like step-by-step -step process on how to lead the conversation and having an outcome, like leading the conversation towards an outcome. So by the end of the call, something very specific happens. like they sign up for a trial session or they sign up for your program. Uh, this way in one call, you are like clarifying everything, giving them all the information, telling them about the investment, uh, like really just going through everything. Like 
what this does is it makes your life easier on the back end because what you will be doing is like you have a really si simple sales process to attract a committed type of customer. And I will tell you from firsthand experience, it took me like probably 13 to 14 months to get a real committed customer. And a committed customer is someone who shows up every week, same day, same time for multiple months. And they're either paying up front for it or they're on a contract. And that was something that was like really hard for me to do at the beginning because I didn't really know how to stand um, stand up <laughs> when, when people were trying to negotiate pricing with me or say, oh, we can't come every single week. So that's where like I had to become better communicator and I had to create a more simple sales process, all right? And what I'll tell you is when your process is simple and you're a good communicator, those two things are the recipe for a six figure business, six to seven figure business, because you're making it so easy for the parent to sign up. Okay. Because you got to remember, and I could go off on this tangent right now, but you got to remember that when a parent reaches out to you, the second they do that, they're also looking at other trainers on Instagram, Google, Google maps, uh, who's popping up on, on SEO on the websites. So like you're competing against other people locally. So, the process that you have on that initial call, if it stands out against the other people, even if you're charging more, what other people do uh, with their business is not gonna be, it's not gonna matter at all because you are gonna come in as a professional coach that has a great first impression with these parents and you have a simple buying process for them, okay? So hopefully this video helps. So recap, never arrive mindset, always investing into yourself, uh, number two, really good communicator, um, build those skills. Uh, number three is really simple sales process. If you have those three things dialed in, it's very feasible for you to have a six to seven figure business. Um, really comes down to how far you wanna take this thing. So if you wanna talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, go right below here. Uh, you'll see my phone number there. You'll see the link to the free school group that we have, and you can join hundreds of trainers there that are like-minded, get a free course, all that stuff. That's it, catch you later.